a lot of artists think like um you know when they get a deal or or even getting in the game like it's gonna be overnight success. How long yeah, was it man, until man. you had your first commercial release after you did your first deal? Um, real talk, bro. I never actually really, really did like a major deal type shit. Okay. Like real talk, bro. Like you know, it probably seemed that way. You feel me? Yeah. Because of the you know the caliber of artists I was around and. You know, in the uh, you know the type of music we was making, the music that was out and shit. But I never really got like a a real, you know what I'm saying? For the old shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Big old lump sum of money from this person, and like nah, you know, like I, I, that never really happened. But at the same time, um, you know, like it's 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 a it's a constant grind. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, uh, I I didn't really like start seeing. Like real, like bread from music and shit like that. Like what for us, like real money, um, from music and stuff until we dropped the Mrs. Awesome. You know what I'm saying? That's when I got my first big like rap check. You hear me? Like real talk. Real talk. Shout out to um, the Fifth Wall Weeby. Dead rest in peace to Weeby, man. Um, and um, and you know, shout out to Mr. Mina for real. Like they put me down with the with the publishing shit. You know what I'm saying? I right. was able to. You know, give me a publishing deal. You feel me? Which you know, give me my first big rap check. Um, how much was it? How much was the check? Um, it was an advance for like seventy five thousand, something like that. Okay. You okay. know what I'm saying? You know, and that was just like the first half. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, and you know, I got the second half. You know what I'm saying? You know, a little later, whatever. But yeah. You remember what you did with the money? Yeah, I blew it on everybody else. <laughs> real talk for real bro like that shit was going fast like it, it might sound like a lot of money but you know what I'm saying when you gotta take care of this take care of that you know what I'm saying you know for real this person needed a lawyer here this person needed a lawyer here this person here need to be bonding out your mama need money you got kids you gotta do this and that for you feel me you still traveling you still gotta you know what I'm saying do yeah. this knick knack shit for yourself too you know what I mean? For real, like, man, that, that shit was gone, for real. Then, like, for me, like, I always was, like, a, you know, a big-hearted dude. So when I got that bread, bro, I was making sure everybody was straight. You know what I'm saying? Right. For real, like, nigga, fuck that. Woo, woo, for real. Going on a block. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, look, boom. You did get your school clothes. You know what I'm saying? Get the tennis, for real. You did. I could be at a store. You know what I mean? And I'm getting some shit. You know what I'm saying? If I see a, you know what I mean, a father or... Or mother or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Get some yeah. shit for the chum, man. I got them. You have no trip on that. You know what I'm saying? Just you know, just just doing a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying for the hood, for real. But that 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 when that second half came, I had to get selfish, man. <laughs> for, for real, cause that was the thing. Like for real, cause you you gotta realize it, bro. Like once you you know you do all that for everybody, man, but. You know, when the bread get low and when it's gone, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. shit, ain't nobody about to be like, well, look, you did this for me, bro. Here you go. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, man. That's for facts. Real. For real. So, you know, on that second one, I had to make sure I take care of myself. Hey, Pops is 1987.com.